In Arizona, mask wearing has gone from a public health matter to a divisive political fight. It should surprise no one. It's now a matter for the courts to decide. The politics and the legal arguments regarding who can require you to wear a mask playing out again today. Scottsdale Unified Superintendent sending this letter to families today, saying it's a critical plea, asking parents to have their children mask up at school, the school just starting. The superintendent says they have more evidence of COVID transmission this year than all of last year. ABC 15 political reporter Mark Phillips has more tonight with the ongoing mask debate. Take the mask and tell Michael Crow to shove it. At ASU, gubernatorial candidate Carrie Lake, her supporters, and curious ASU students showed up for an impromptu anti-mask rally on campus. Wednesday, ASU announced it will enforce masking inside all buildings, classrooms, teaching and research labs, as well as in outdoor areas where physical distancing can't be maintained. Meanwhile, in downtown Phoenix Friday. Back to school? Yep, back to campus. Biology teacher Douglas Hester left Superior Court, still waiting to learn if a judge will rule in his favor. Hester asked for a temporary restraining order, blocking the Phoenix Union High School District from continuing to impose its mask mandate. The Constitution says legislation typically does not take effect until 90 days after the legislative session has adjourned. The district argues the retroactivity clause contained in an anti-mask mandate law attached to the budget doesn't take effect until the law does on September 29th. You can't put a retroactivity clause in and use that to try and circumvent the state constitution's um, effective date rules. But Hester's attorney says the governor and legislature's intent was clear from the start, no mask mandates. It does not matter what side of the mask debate you fall on. If a creature of the state can ignore the state legislature and the governor when they pass state law, then the result is chaos. The issue for Judge Randall Warner is whether the school district can impose its mandate up until the law takes effect. Judge Warner is not deciding if the state's anti-mass mandate law is constitutional. That's going to be decided in another courtroom. On Thursday, an education coalition, including 15 organizations and individuals, filed suit claiming the law is that unconstitutional. Mark Phillips, ABC 15, Arizona.